As Senior Vice President, General Counsel, and Corporate Secretary of Bombardier Incorporated, Danielle Desjardins leads a team of over 175 lawyers in 17 jurisdictions worldwide and is closely involved in the business of Bombardier through his key role on the management committee. We at Bombardier are manufacturers of trains and planes. We're number one in the world in the train business. We're the third civil aviation manufacturer in the world. We are present in 60 different countries. What I appreciate the most about Danielle is not only brings the legal aspects to our decision, but takes a business perspective. Danielle had a very successful practice in Montreal, and about 15 years ago, he was recruited by Bombardier to come in at a time where Bombardier was expanding globally. They needed somebody to really take charge of the law department, which he did. Alors, en 1988, when he l'annonce de Daniel, qui s'en allait comme GC chez Bombardier, vice-président et chef du contentieux, ça a été un choc mais un choc qui a signalé un changement. What's remarkable about Danielle is that he manages so many complex areas at Bombardier. Uh, just the legal department alone uh, is a huge undertaking, but on top of that, he heads up the environmental, health and safety, risk management, and insurance. And it's really a great credit to his ability to collaborate with people and to get the most out of his teams. I think the strongest thing that, that Danielle brings to the table is, is practicality. He knows the law inside out, but he also knows what I need to do to get my job done correctly. So he'll always look at it from a practical point of view, and as opposed to preventing me from doing my job, he's really an enabler. One of my functional responsibilities is to lead our mergers and acquisitions teams. And Daniel, of course, is our lawyer uh, who works with us in all our deals. And what he's got is a good, practical sense of what's doable in a transaction. He's got a great sense of humor, and in the tough situations, you know, he uses that humor to really keep the team light and get things done. In corporate social responsibility, like everything else that we do, we set the goal to be the best in the world. And, uh, and that's what Danielle's role is mainly, is to rally the organization beyond goals, goals that are attainable, but goals that also make business sense. Alors, Daniel peut être fier d'avoir mis en place des politiques depuis plus de 15 ans qui sont mis à jour régulièrement, qui forment un véritable code de conduite ou code de comment faire affaire avec toute son équipe qui est observé euh, d'une façon verticale puis d'une façon horizontale dans l'entreprise. C'est un de ses héritages. On parle de Lifetime Achievement, on sait qu'il lui reste encore beaucoup de temps, mais euh, c'est clairement une de ses réalisations majeures. Daniel est un stratégic thinker. And a global company needs somebody that thinks strategically, that thinks far ahead. Uh, at the same time, Danielle is great at supervising global operations, so he brings the best of the best. My earliest recollection of working with Danielle, we were uh, working on a deal. Um, Danielle was a partner at Hugh Gendron, and, and you got to remember that at the time, Danielle and Claude Gendron were like the, the hottest real estate lawyers in town. I mean, these, these guys had all the great deals. Um, they were acting for a big bank and financing an acquisition of a building that uh, our clients wanted to purchase. And I somehow ended up in a negotiating room with, with Danielle, I'm a third or fourth year associate, um, and I was so out of my league. I was, actually, it was scary. Yet Danielle took me under his arms, helped me through the documents, explained where the issues were that I had to sort of be focused on. And I felt like he was really helping me sort of learn uh, or the ins and outs of a pretty complex deal, and he didn't have to because, of course, he was on the other side. He's always had very practical and pragmatic advice to give, and I think that's clearly been recognized within the Bombardier organization itself as he is a senior member of their management team and has responsibilities well beyond just the legal responsibilities. Danielle somehow finds the time to give back to the community, whether it be uh, running the Centrade program or the, the the Montreal sort of United Way for Bombardier raised, I think, over a million dollars one year, which is remarkable. He's involved in Alpine Ski Canada, supporting some, uh, some top athletes, and I just don't know where he finds the time. I don't think he sleeps. I would say, in the first, the tribute of Daniel is his energy. 
euh, s'assurer et l'enthousiasme qu'il y a pour nos projets et s'assurer vraiment qu'on s'occupe des détails et qu'on qu fait le lien entre ce qui est légal et les affaires. Vraiment de bien combiner la décision d'affaires dans un contexte légal. Daniel, c'est un gars intense, passionné et d'équipe. If I were asked uh, to give three characteristics to describe him, I would say thoughtful, pragmatic and energetic. Alors Daniel, euh, félicitations pour ce témoignage magnifique de reconnaissance de votre talent et votre contribution. Uh, congratulations, Daniel. It was a, uh, I understand, a close election. And uh, I'm always delighted <laughs> when people win elections and are chosen for, for their contribution to business and to Canada. Danielle Desjardins is the recipient of the 2013 CGCA Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you all. Terry, I will not be brief. <laughs> I'm trying to cram out 35 years of practice into seven minutes, so bear with me. So dear colleagues and friends, chers collègues et amis, bonsoir. I must say there are very special moments in life when everything seems to be exactly as it should be. When there is a sense of peaceful, peaceful joy. In many ways tonight, I feel like just my white poodle Google, who I wish was on that video tonight. After eating her dinner and taking a drink of water, as she lies down in the garden underneath the sunshine, one can sense that at that moment, life is good to her. So indeed, life is good for me. I'm not retired nor dead. <laughs> as I look back over the years, one thought comes to mind, how fortunate I have been, how lucky I have been. And tonight, I count my blessings. 25 years ago, as I was beginning my career at the, in law at the Provincial Bank of Canada, and I know that many of you in this room tonight may never have heard the name before, I was fortunate to meet Claude Gendron, who's here tonight, a colleague who was just beginning his career in law, and who, thank God, was as green as I was. Claude will remember that as Kermit the Frog so eloquently says, it's not easy being green. So we became, more, we, we became more buddies. Over the years, helping each other, we learned to become business lawyers, and we discovered that along the way, we could have fun. So after 35 years, Claude is and remains my best friend. He knows where the buddies are buried, so don't say a word. And he is truly the kind of friend anyone would be lucky to have in their life. After many years, I am pleased to have been able to convince him to move to the good side of the force and join me in corporate world as he is now the Executive Vice President, Legal Affairs and Joint Counsel at Ivanoe Cambridge. So Claude, thank you for being my friend and thank you for being here tonight. Today's award, the day tonight's award was announced, I was interviewed by Drew Hasselback and during the interview, Drew asked me, what was my first thought upon receiving the award? My immediate reaction was to thank my team, and let me explain. Bombardier today is a very different company than the one I joined 15 years ago. It is now one of the most, if not the most global Canadian corporation with 80 production and engineering sites in 26 countries and a worldwide network of service centers. Over the last 15 years, we have become the world leader in design, manufactured and support of rail equipment and system, the world leader in business aviation, and the third largest civil aircraft manufacturer. And we are the only manufacturers of both planes and train in the world. And we are now about to cross another threshold as we approach the first flight of the C-Series, a category-defining aircraft built for today and tomorrow. And it's all about, you know, big dreams. I'm very proud of our Canadian roots as we export our products and services all around the world. For example, I think of our automated people mover that we built for the Beijing airport uh, for the 2008 Olympics, which bear our logo and which was built in this province. 
I am really proud of our corporate office located in this country and for the fact that we have 25,000 Canadian employees at Montbardier and many suppliers across Canada, while 98% of our sales are made outside of this country. This represents a tremendous benefit and positive benefit, I should say, to Canada. So, since I joined Montverdi, I also have been fortunate to work with Laurent Baudouin, Chairman of the Board, and Pierre Baudouin, his son, CEO, who has been leading our company with passion and determination. And I've learned so much from both of them. I'm also very fortunate to be part of an extraordinary management team with Pierre Allery, Richard Bredin, and Jean-Paul, and you saw two of them in this video. It is said that, and I, I absolutely believe in it to be true, you are only as good as the people around you. Well, let me tell you how much pride I have in my legal team. As Bombardier grew to become a global corporation, the legal team also grew to become just as global and diverse, now reaching 175 lawyers in 17 countries around the world. Right from the beginning, I strongly believe that we had to insource our legal expertise as much as we could to be effective and bring the necessary added value to our operation. Today, we submit, we submit over 355 bids a year. This means that we handle at least a bid a day somewhere in the globe. Those who know me, and I'm a touch competitive and sometimes intense, so I take pride in the fact that no law firm in the world can match our expertise in selling trains and planes around this planet. And there are no words to say how proud I am when I see the dedication and commitment of the legal team are well acknowledged and valued throughout Montbardier every single day. Part of my team at Corporate Office is here tonight, and I want, thank, I want to thank each and every one of you. Allow me to say a few words about Chantal Rabitaille, Senior Director of Legal Services and Assistant Secretary to Bombardier, who has been with me for 20 years now. We met at our former law firm, and she came to join me at Bombardier not too long after my appointment. The complete trust I have in her and, her, in, and in her abilities allows me to travel and to meet our teams all around the planet with complete peace of mind, as I know there's always a steady end an expert pair of hands at the helms back at the office. As they say, she's got my back. Chantal, I can't thank you enough. I can say the same thing for Alain Doré, now Senior Director of Legal Services at Bombardier Aerospace, and who for the past 20 years has been like this great offensive lineman in football, always protecting my blind side. So, Alain, thank you. I have the privilege of wearing multiple hats at Bombardier, and I'm very proud of our approach to managing risk and the, commit, uh, the committed risk management and insurance team I led with the other Daniel Desjardins. And indeed, there's another Daniel Desjardins at Bombardier who reports to me. You can imagine the confusion sometimes. <laughs> who ensure that this responsibility is well embedded. Now coming back to green, but not the Kermit green of thing, I take pride in our CSR corporate social responsibility initiative as the dedicated team I lead uh, uh, in this regard. And I want to thank Dominique Cristal and this who performs beyond the call of duty. I also lead our Health and Safety and Environment Council who ensure that health and safety remains a core value at Bombardier every hour of the day. I could not do what I do without the loyalty and diligence of my executive assistant, Hélène Guerriepi. While she's half my size and my height, she acts as a great bouncer. And I want to thank Hélène for everything she does and support me daily. We could not perform as well as we do without the support also of the ex and the expertise of our external uh, counsel. We all acknowledge that the relationship between law firm and legal in-house department has changed over the last decade. I, for one, always want to push our discussion with law firms beyond the mere discussion on cost. How can we work better? How can we, born, how can we be more efficient? I can, how can we find ways to improve our dialogue and how can we, as business, help our external law firm find new ways and better ways to manage, manage their own business? In this respect, uh, Paul Raymond and Chris Albert have been two great advisors and friends throughout my 15 years at Bombardier. I always value your advice and opinions. Paul and Chris, thank you. Over the years, many others have accompanied us along the way and some of them are here tonight. Tom Tobin, Robbie Keller, John Bonnekem, thank you. 
To my friends who are leaders of their law firms, let me say how much I appreciate our discussion about the business of law. In Canada, we are blessed with great law firms possessing solid expertise and outstanding lawyers. I want you to succeed in this global world, world and show the world just how good Canadian lawyers can be. As Mr. Spock would say, I want you to live long and prosper. So uh, what I want to say to my, some of my friends that are leading their law firm, you can count on me to continue to support you and challenge you. Each of you know how much I enjoy our discussion uh, and how much I want to see Canadian law firms, both locally and globally, seize their potential and showcase their abilities to show the world what we're made of. In many ways, we, are, we share the same goal and we share the same passion to see our team succeed. We share the same value and we believe that beyond hard work, success can only come by, by truly valuing honesty, respect, and I truly believe in that and the will to, pass it, to pay it forward so that we make the next generation better than we are. Finally, allow me to thank Bordner, Ladner, and Gervais, who are sponsoring the Lifetime Achievement Award. As they say, Chris and Dominique, great friends, I'm happy to see you tonight for this beautiful evening in the National Post. And I want to also extend my gratitude to all of those who gave the support for tonight and to the members of the jury. One last word for my family. For my family, we cannot be here tonight as exam season is in full swing and my son are at home with my wife working hard to achieve excellence. They have suffered my absence so many times, but they never complained. Their love and support cannot be replaced. Thank you all.